we will be reviewing the appropriate specimen collection of the upper respiratory tract for a patient with or under investigation for COVID-19. This includes nasopharyngeal, or NP, specimen collection procedures. Collect the necessary specimen collection devices, one red or blue VTM vial, two small specimen biohazard bags, two patient labels, a fine tip Sharpie for labeling, EPA approved disinfectant wipes for emerging pathogens, hand sanitizer, a sharps container, and a flashlight. Prepare the two labels. One label will be for the NP specimen tube and the other will be for the outer bag that contains the specimen tube. Each label must contain name, date of birth, medical record number, date and time of collection, the specimen source, and the initials of the colleague collecting the specimen. Prior to entering the patient care area, don all PPE required for the care of patients with or under investigation for COVID-19. This includes gown, N95 respirator, eye protection, and gloves. Verify the patient name and date of birth and cross-reference with the labels that you have. Explain the procedure to the patient. Try to anticipate how the patient may react. Consider having a colleague or partner to assist if you are caring for someone who may try to move their head, push you away, or reach for the swab, such as a pediatric patient. Position the patient for comfort and to facilitate safe specimen collection for the swab. Put the patient in an upright position if they're in a chair or in a bed. Disinfect the bedside table with an EPA-approved disinfectant wipe. Lay out all supplies on the table in a manner that will help facilitate specimen collection. Perform hand hygiene over gloves. And place absorbent material over the patient to protect their clothing. You may offer a tissue to the patient to clear their nasal passage. And because specimen collection may cause tearing, sneezing, coughing, or gagging. Inspect the inside of the nostrils using a flashlight to ensure there are no obstructions such as a deviated septum. Stand to the side to avoid being in the splash zone if the individual sneezes. First, inspect the swab for durability by bending it to ensure it will not break. The distance from the front of the nostril to the back of the nose and the nasopharynx is approximately 7 centimeters. This is similar to the distance from the tip of the swab to the handle. The notch on the swab is the break point for placing the swab into the vial. Hold the swab between your thumb and your forefinger with the shaft resting on your middle finger like a pen. Maintain a loose grip to avoid injury due to unnecessary force. By holding it gently, this will reduce force in the nose. The patient's head should be straight forward and not tilted back. You may place your hand on the back of the patient's head in the event that the patient inadvertently pulls away from you. Gently insert the swab into the nostril straight back in a direction that makes a line from the nose to the level of the earlobe. You may have to lift up slightly on the nostril to access the proper trajectory. Avoid going up and there should not be any bending of the swab. The swab should travel along the floor of the nose a total of 7 centimeters or 2.5 inches from the nostril. Remember that 7 centimeters will be around where the handle starts on the swab. At this point, resistance from the nasopharynx should be felt. If you meet resistance prior to this distance, then you should adjust your trajectory to stay low so that it glides smoothly along the nasal cavity or try the other nostril. Rotate the swab a few times to collect the cells. Withdraw the swab. Place single swab in container with transport medium. Break off the end of the swab to enable cap to cover and secure in place. Tighten the cap. Dispose of the broken tip into Sharps container. Disinfect the specimen tube with the disinfectant wipe that is laid out on the table. Place the label over the top of the label that is already on the tube so that it does not cover the bottom of the tube. Lab must have visibility to the bottom of the tube in order to safely pipette the appropriate amount of testing. Place the tube in the specimen bag and seal. Disinfect the specimen bag with disinfectant wipe. Place the specimen bag into the second specimen bag with a patient label. Perform hand hygiene. 
pass the clean bag to a colleague outside of the room or doff PPE and exit the room with the specimen bag. Double check that the outer bag is labeled with NP prior to taking the specimen to the lab. All specimens must be hand delivered to specimen receiving.